afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Got another nice, affordable fifth wheel value today. Today, we're going to look at a 2013 Heartland Gateway. Always like these. I love the colors of these in the interior. It's got a really, just a really nice uh, residential, kind of fancy residential feel to it. This is the model 3200 RS. This is a triple slide, 37 foot long fifth wheel. Weighs 11,000 pounds. These are four seasons. They're great for residential use or for recreational use, either one. And um, this one's got a few little things with it, guys. I'm going to do something a little different uh, on this one. It's It's got a price of $29.9 on it. Um, I'm going to drop that price, $2,000 to 27.9 and that's just because of a couple of things on the inside the main thing needing is it probably needs new furniture um i wasn't really planning on putting furniture in it but i will you know for a couple of extra thousand dollars and i'll show you inside what i'm talking about and you can be your own judge because i know a lot of people that buy these to live in, they, they're gonna take the furniture out anyway and put a desk in, make it their own, kind of customize it a little bit. So I'm gonna give you that option when we go inside um, and I'll show you exactly what that's about. But looking around at guys, the outside looks good to be a 13 model fifth wheel. It does have, it has had a blowout at one time and it got the fender skirt and a little bit of the J-wrap. You know, it's probably been like that for a long time. I don't think it's going to hurt using it or towing it like that. But, uh, you know, you can buy a fender skirt online, a couple hundred bucks, slap it on it, be good to go. Um, roof access ladder, it's got the frameless windows. You know, these are actually built by Thor, the same people that make the Montanas and the, and they just, they make a, they make a good fifth wheel, guys. You can say what you want about the rest of them, but you know, they make some of the best selling fifth wheels of all time. And a couple of little cracks on the stripe right here. But again, guys, it's a 13 model used fifth wheel for a fraction of a cost of a new one. And this is a nicer fifth wheel as far as, you know, what it costs new and what it would cost new in 2022. So three slides does have 50 amp electrical service. I'm running on my generator right now in case you didn't hear it. Got the twin airs. No delamination on it. 10 gallon water heater. And, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of fifth wheel for 27.9. Let's just say that. Got the fiberglass cap on the front. Inside, you got all Corian countertops and fireplace and you got a big power awning. Let's look inside. Got the weather guard. Georgia Motorhome bought new in Georgia anyway. Or Georgia fifth wheel, not motorhome. Ah. And as we step inside, guys, very fancy. <laughs> I love that island kitchen. This is actually a movable island kitchen. I've seen these on several Heartlands. Pretty cool. Got the H inlaid right there. This is all Corian, and you can move it around to, to suit your needs. What I was talking about, guys, on the furniture is the theater seating has got chunk missing out of it there, and it's got some flaking on it because it is some of that flaking furniture. And your rear sofa looks a lot better, but it still has some spots on it. So I'm going to give you a choice here, guys, because I know somebody that was look if someone's looking at this as more of a residential live-in type situation, they're thinking, well, I don't need that couch there. I can take that couch out, put me a desk or a media center or a hobby table or whatever back there or do something different with this right here. So what I'm going to do, guys, for $27.9, I'm going to leave the furniture that's in it. You can use it, dispose of it, recover it, whatever you want to do. Now, if you like it the way it is, what I can do for twenty nine nine, it's going to be two prices. I will replace the theater seating in the sofa and install it for you for twenty nine nine. 
that way it's buyer's choice but the only bad thing about doing that is it takes me about a week to 10 days to get the furniture once i order it so you need to let if you buy this thing and you want the and you want the furniture replaced and you're willing to pay the the 29.9 price let your salesperson know as quick as possible so i can get it ordered i will try to match the color and the size up the best i can um i think i can get it pretty close um, it's more like a chocolate color so i'll try my best to uh, like i said it may be a little lighter maybe a little darker but it's going to be really close to this same uh color and you can see it's starting to do just typical flaking furniture stuff so uh you know i can definitely do that for you guys so like i said buyer's choice you can get a uh sofa and theater seating replaced or uh you, for or save two thousand dollars off the price take the furniture like it is which is what i would do if i was going to customize it to suit my own needs but i love the woodwork in here the dark cherry cabinets it's got a fireplace which you can set for the effect or for an auxiliary electric heater it's got a big forty thousand btu furnace television up top it's got two ducted roof airs Table and chairs, which the table and chairs are absolutely fine. Like I said, the only default on the inside or only fault is just the uh, the theater seating and the uh, sofa, the sleeper sofa in the back. So again, guys, your choice, 27.9, 29.9, 27.9. Take it with the furniture that's in it or 29.9, I will replace the furniture. And honestly, I'd rather sell it for 27.9 let somebody else mess with it because i am very very short-handed with help right now so but i'm still willing to do that but keep in mind it may delay picking up your camper by a week to 10 days so um and i was just going to go ahead and do it for 29.9 but you know experience in the past has taught me that if i did that then somebody will want to buy it says i would have bought it with the furniture that was in it because i'm going to take it out anyway and, and do my own thing with it so I'm letting the buyer have that choice, guys. Um, and you can, you may even have furniture to put in here. I don't know. But anyway, um, and I will be putting RV furniture back in at recpro.com is where I buy all my furniture from. And, and uh, that's where I'll get, get it to replace it. So it's your choice. Buyer's choice. Just let your salesperson know as soon as possible so that we can get it ordered if you decide to take the, fur the new furniture and get it in here as soon as we can again guys seven to ten business days to get furniture so keep that in mind when you make your plans uh the island kitchen is pretty cool and this is actually a, a movable island kitchen and um you've got an eight cubic foot rv refrigerator freezer let's go ahead and continue with the tour here i've got it plugged up and guys e either price you you go with the 27.9 or the 29.9 price we do guarantee the refrigerator freezer to get the operating temp we guarantee all the slides to work we guarantee both roof air conditioners to work for either price the only difference between the price is one comes with new furniture the other one the furniture stays in that's the only difference in the price so and if you got a question about that need to clarify that just call one of my salespeople. be glad to help you out um i love the uh little details in here the crown molding you know these gateways were really really nice high-end units day night shades all look great there's no smoke or pet odors in here um let's go up toward the front of course it's your traditional floor plan front bedroom or, or lounge french door leading into the bedroom Look at that self-opening. Not really. I just didn't have it shut all the way. <laughs> I stepped up here. It popped open. <laughs> Hear that or we got a ghost in here. Looks like the uh, previous owners left some nice little decorative touches in here. Some pictures, some decorations. You know, which is actually pretty cool because they have this little shelf built into the slide out to, to do that with kind of customize it make it your own it's got a queen island bed bed spread got the headboard uh second ac up here it doesn't have a washer and dryer but it does have hookups 
and oh what, what do they leave us here got some chairs left you a vacuum cleaner and some kind of little table right here i guess so i guess you can use that for ironing or whatever pretty cool little extra storage right there in the front hmm. turn that light off i think this is a lot of fifth wheel for the money i mean don't get me wrong i've got some nicer and newer ones for twice the price but this thing will do everything those will do for a fraction of the cost and I like I like the colors in here. I like the style, I like the little curtains and the window dressings and huh. I can see myself using something like this. So so anyway, guys, uh, twenty seven nine with the furniture it's in it. Twenty nine nine with the uh, us replacing the furniture again. Buyer's choice. Just gives us plenty of time to do that. Let's look at the bathroom real quick before I get into my whole price bill. Um, which I kind of already have. <laughs> wow, look at this tub, guys. That is a close to a residential size tub and shower as you're going to find in a fifth wheel. Skylight, plenty of plenty of headroom in here because I'm six foot four. I'm not bumping my head on nothing. Big vanity area. Like the uh, the cabinets in here is pretty nice. Uh, let's see nice toilet i guess i mean it's a china toilet so <laughs> i guess it's nice for a toilet at least it's nice as considering what you do with the toilet so <laughs> does have the sprayer though got duct work in here for heat and air which i like to see that got the vent fan all your controls are right here slide outs um lights water heater control for dsi and electric breakers and fuses are right down there by the floor thermostats right over here for your main unit and your heat and of course your second thermostats in the bedroom you know it's fancy when you got a wine rack table and chairs and you saw the two extra chairs in the front um closet yeah buddy this is not bad all right guys 20 i'm gonna advertise it for the lower price with the furniture that's in it 27.9 but like i said two extra grand i'll replace the furniture if something you're interested in give us a call 706-965-7929 again guys either price you go with we're going to make sure the slides work the air conditioners work the refrigerator and freezer gets cold which is already getting there um we guarantee those to work at time of sale everything else sold as is so please guys uh come down here do your own inspection on it before buying it and um if you can't do that or don't feel comfortable doing that hire a third party inspection service that way you know what you're getting into before you buy it because the way we keep our prices down is we only cover the most basic things again slide outs roof airs refrigerator and freezer and if it had a generator of course we'd cover that uh, which it doesn't like most fifth wheels it doesn't so um and that's it guys uh you know like i said it's up to you to check anything else and and, and that's what i tell people it's if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't it's up to you to buy it or not buy it the only thing we guarantee to work is those uh slide outs the air conditioners and the refrigerator freezer the main stuff we leave the mickey mouse stuff to you the fireplace works i haven't turned the tv on but the red light's on so you know which tv is the cheapest thing you can fix in an rv that's no big deal um lights all work i mean everything so far at least that i've touched works so uh if you if you're interested in coming down doing an inspection or hiring an inspector uh, just set it up with your salesperson so that we can run power to it for you or for your inspector. 
uh, 706-965-7929. You're going to look far and wide, guys, before you find a dealer that actually welcomes third-party inspection services. And I encourage it because I want you to know what you're getting into before you buy it. Because, you know, the prices are cheap. They're used RVs. You're going to work on it sometime, shape, form, or fashion, any used or even brand new RV you, you buy. That's just... That's the nature of these things. And for anybody to tell you that you can buy an RV and never have to work on it is blowing smoke up your rear end because there's no such thing. Um, you know, these things, there's a lot of systems on these. You haul these things down the road, you're running 65, 70 miles an hour, and these things are flexing and bending and everything else. And, um, you know, stuff makes a, it does a toll on one after over the years. So, um, that's what I tell people. Spend some time. You know, it doesn't take a rocket science to go over one of these now. I'm not going to lie. It's, I mean, you don't have to be a trained RV technician to see, hey, uh, floor's got a soft spot or wall's got a soft spot, which I haven't seen one of this. I would have pointed that out if it did. Or, uh, you know, this water's not getting hot. <laughs> so, it's not really that complicated. It's mostly just common sense. But like I said, you're always welcome to hire a third-party inspector, and, and I encourage you to do one or the other. Either come inspect it yourself or hire somebody to do it for you. That way, there's no regrets, no surprises. You know, guys, I, I go through these things a lot more than most people that review used RVs do. Um, but I'm, again, guys, I, I, you know, if I, I can't go through it and turn on everything, and I wish I could, but I can't. Um, but, you know, I try to cover the basic stuff and I've been around RVs for 25 plus years. You know, I can usually cite stuff that's wrong, but again, guys, I'm not, I'm not an inspector. I'm not going to see everything. So, um, do your due diligence on that. And anyway, guys, 27, nine plus tax, no other fees, um, no dock fees, prep fees, none of that stuff or 29, nine with new furniture. Um, it's plus tax, of course. We have nationwide delivery available for $1.50 a loaded mile, which with diesel prices is an absolute bargain. And we only charge one way. We don't charge both ways. So if you need it return or need it taken somewhere, your campsite, your house, or if you've got a permanent lot set up or a monthly campsite set up, uh, you know, like for residential purposes, we'll definitely drop it off there uh, for $1.50 a mile one way. And we actually, with fuel prices right now, we're losing money on that, but we're still going to continue to keep that price the same it has been for years. Anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I may try to shoot another quick fifth wheel today. Um, I just like this one for the price. I thought this was a great deal. And even with the furniture, guys, I mean, it's still a good deal. I mean, this thing's a lot of fifth wheel for under 30 grand. Triple slide, 37 foot long, four seasons. Um built very well you know the furniture issues that's that's any pretty much everything from this era is going to have that problem if it doesn't have that problem that means it's been fixed already or it's got cloth furniture and don't worry guys the rec pro stuff will not do this um thank you so much for watching appreciate it and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold george also forgot to mention guys we have financing with approved credit available if you need it we take trade-ins, and again, $1.50 a mile delivery, one way. And no fees, no games, no gimmicks, just, just straightforward sales, easy, simple, and done, haggle-free prices. $27.9 or $29.9. Thank you again. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.